So with a group of friends we took a part in Game Jam. The idea was simple, we had just 36 hours to create a game and compete with others. Normally events like this take place at location, but obviously due to Covid everything was held online. The topic of the Game Jam was Cyber Funk. We started brainstorming, but we knew we need to act quick. The topic has been announced at 9pm, so not only we don't have much time, but also we need to sleep, right? Inspired by the speedrunners game, we decided to go with the runner type game. We also immediately focused more on the funk part of the topic and correlated that with the music genre popular in the 70s. This was our first mock-up of the game, where our character would find vinyl records on the streets and throw them to the other characters to fill up the funk meter. I started with creating some UI that would show the funk meter and keep the count of gathered vinyl records. Andrzej, our graphic designer, also sent me those discs, which immediately replaced the placeholder with some nice animation. Adam started working on script that allows player to shoot discs. Meanwhile, Marcin Bartek worked on the main aspects of the game like map scrolling, character jumping and map generation. We had some great ideas about the landscape like hills, platforms to jump on and other obstacles. At the moment it was already 3 at night so we decided to take a sleep break. In the morning we started combining everything we have so far. After some code fixes I managed to put everything into one scene and it turned out pretty well. Everyone then focused on their work, like UI and game elements jumping to the beach, more advanced map generation with obstacles and even character animation. Jury started to ask us for the game name. Inspired by the Saturday Night Fever, we came up with the simple Funk Fever title. I then designed some funky logo around that thing and game starts screen that dance to the music. All this time we've been receiving tens of graphics from Andrzej and it was finally time to implement them into the game. We've added buildings with spawning robots, multiple background art that is constantly changing based on the player progress, map generation assets with randomly spaced vinyl records, and finally Funko meter that is now filling up based on the player progress. It was really late and we decided to finish the game at this point. It was time to prepare for the... The formula was simple. Each team had around 5 minutes to showcase their game and then Jury and Audience selected the winners. Unfortunately our game did not win, but it was still a great experience and a lot of fun. You can check out our game on the itch.io and even play it in the browser. Check out the link in the description. Thanks to my great team for making this game possible in such a short time. And that's everything I have for you today. If you have any Game Jam related questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. Our team will do their best to answer all of them. Also, be sure to join CocoCode Discord and to subscribe for more videos like this.